Hello and welcome to Abbey Park here in Kilwinning and we've got a big Scottish Cup game between Kilwinning Rangers and Thornton Hibs and we've got our guest George Watt with us and young Andrew George, going to hit you first of all, tell us a bit about this team. Well Eddie, we, um, we watched Lockheed last year against Bead in the Junior Cup and didn't really give Lockheed much of a chance, they actually beat Bead uh, quite comfortable that day. Thought Hibs in the same league, just tucked in behind them. They've had a couple of very good results in the Scottish Cup as well, they've beaten two of the Western Premier League teams, they won 3 1 away at Rob Roy and beat the event from 2 0 home. So, I mean, winnable obviously for Covington, but they're, they're coming off after a wee sticky spell at the moment, Eddie. I watched them a few weeks ago up at Covington, they were terrific, but they've had a bit of a hiccup at Clyde Bank with a bit of a self destruct button. Struggled last week against the Meadow. So, it's maybe a wee break for the league, and maybe this is just the time to, uh, yep. to shake yep. them back out again. So, it should be a good game. Conditions is we've just witnessed <laughs> walking around yeah. the pitch. It's a bit of a challenge, but yeah, good game. Yep. Yourself, Andrew. Obviously, first part a few times. Yes. What do you think? Obviously, cup games, one-off games, anything can happen. You never know. Obviously, the weather like this as well. I think the park yeah. levels just, the teams a bit. You're just turning to the referees there. Just talk to the referees there. I'm not turning away from the camera guys, but <laughs> I'm just looking at that part there. It's really oh, cut it's up. I'm going to throw it in, George. Oh no. Here we go. Yeah. I, I, I always fancy the West teams against the East. Um, I know Cowan struggled a bit recently, point. but I'm going to go for a home. 3-1 the 2-1 box, that's what I think okay. oh, 3 home ones eh? <laughs> Let's go and see this game And it's Wardrop to get the game underway and thankfully the heavy rain that has been pouring all morning has eased up but the pitch is looking quite soggy and heavy and easily cut up. He strains long by kick down the left. Try to buffs. Quickly taken by Monte to Wardrop. Turns Drummond. Pulls for a penalty. And it's nice into play by Thornton. Drummond with a terrific cross for Adam. He's got the buffs short at the back. Adam jinks past Coleman, has a shot, he scores! Goal to Thornton Hibbs, and it's 1-0. Early goal there. Early goal there, Andrew, that can make it, the blue first time they've been up the pitch. I know. Uh, very, full back Joe Coleman seems quite easily beaten there, I thought. Um, and okay, he's maybe kind of, the boy's all left footed, he's kind of rolled into his right back. Shocking start from the boss here, but I suppose, you're better losing a goal in the fifth minute than you are in the ninetieth minute. Yeah, there's some early warning signs there for for Kilwinning. Thornton taking first blood early in the game. And they came over here to the west coast, setting out their stall. And once again, it's uh, Hibbs exploiting the bus left, drumming. And he's drumming in the chase. Oh, and it's Pettigrew just slipping past the two Hibs players who decide to have a wee tackle at each other. It was a poor clearance by Pettigrew. It's a foul by Keating and the buffs still back. It's a high clearance by Linton. Oh, and it's a clash of heads between Drummond and referee Wilson. And both appear to be concussed. It looks like a serious accidental collision. So he's got a head knock. It's going to take five minutes to see if he feels any better. And then reconvene. This is, this is a first one. You've seen it yourself, Andrew. It, it look, was a sore one. That was a sore one. I we both said we heard, the, we heard yeah, the impact. The impact yeah. so totally accidental. But i just seen him actually start to walk down the line. I think this must be the supervisor over here that... See that Alliance was talking to there, Andrew. I think that must be a super supervisor because the referee went to speak to him and ask what his advice is. So I'm assuming he said to him, take five minutes and then if you don't feel like it, we'll see what the next action is. But After around 15 minutes of delay, the game is underway again and hopefully referee Wilson has a quick recovery. It's an up and under by Pettigrew. Lobbed by Monte, but Drummond eventually clears. 
One once again, the box caught. Bunch at the back. One once again, the box caught. Short at the back. Fox <laughs> Nickel then. Thompson was just offside. And eventually Thornton bring the ball under control. Intercepted by Coleman. Ward dropped to Nisbet. It's by Boylan. Scramble away by Hepburn. The buffs are exploiting this left hand side of Thornton. Ward tries a bender. Linton saves. Up go Monty and Thompson. Wardrop lobs. And Nisbet's corner deep to the back post. Controlled by Pettigrew. That's a shot to go, Buffs. A goal to Covering Rangers by Pettigrew. It's one all. Good goal there, Andrew Craig Pettigrew coming off the, uh, the break from the corner. Cut in and get the boy well. Probably deserved that. I think since we come back here, Andrew, we're just saying there that the Buffs were definitely on the front foot for this period. So this is, I think we've still probably got about 15 minutes left in the first half. So it's a chance to go and try and get in front of them. Linton's long clear is mopped up by Coleman. Boylan picks up a loose ball. He's off to Nisbet. Pass Drummond. Goal buffs again. 2 1 to Coleman. Fantastic solo goal there. Fantastic solo goal. Great ball and his bags of skill. Uh, Nisbet and he's, uh, he's skinned the first guy, he's cut into the second guy, the goalie thinks he's going to shoot and he's got a great finish. Aggie looks one of the traffic now Andrew, um, well deserved. And the buffs certainly have their band, they're up now. It's Coleman to Monte. Maitland wide to McCloskey. One two boiling. Nisbet! Goal! Buffs. It's 3 1 now. And it's Nisbet's second goal. Fantastic goal again. Ryan Nisbet has been a, a thorn on their side. Excuse the pun there, Andrew, all afternoon. <laughs> and he's um, well deserved. And th th they're struggling with him now. You can see them trying to put other men on him. But terrific. That, you know, their tails are up. They've got the goals now. It's going to be quite quite comfortable. Uh, I don't really think um, the Buffs are wanting this half to stop. The Buffs' tails are up. Thornton looks stunned. But Adams, diagonal ball for Boylan with a poor header back to his keeper. Thompson! Yeah! Thompson! It's 3 2 now! Still talking about one goal Still and then Thornton go goal. back up and get right back in the game. Absolutely, and it came down the side that we spoke about all afternoon. Andrew, they didn't seem to offer in at all, didn't they? That's a great ball. They skinned the full back and he's knocked it right across the ball and the left-hand side's come in. Now we've got a game in our hands, that's for sure. The covering appeared to have the game in hand and up pops Thornton to dull the, the cheers of the home crowd. And there's a bit corner, Maitland. Oh, that would have been a spectacular acrobatic goal. And Thompson's just offside. And it's half time, and what a first half has been. And it's Thornton's Thompson to get his underway in the second half. It's 3 2 to Cowening. Five goals in the first half. Change of referee. What will this half bring? And the pitch looks really heavy now. Adam makes a run. Cut out by Maitland. Oh, 
Boiling blocks and it's another corner from Thornton. It's Thornton pressurising coming in. And it's an excellent tackle by Maitland. Monte to Boylan. Turns Robertson. Lewis to Nisbet. What a great save by Linton. Starting to turn the screw a bit yeah, now. They are turning the screw a bit. It was good skills on this side for Brian Boylan. You see he's dropped a wee bit wider here rather than playing through the middle. Uh, great turn, great ball in the box. And two, two real good shots here. Good save by the goal, I reckon. I'll find good fair that. Thornton in the break again. And Anthony winning another corner for Thornton. Corner cleared by Boylan. Adam crosses again. Maitland clears. And Thornton exploiting that buff right hand side and winning another corner. And it's for Thornton. Oh, and he just skims the upright. And it's a long throw by the big number five Miller. Easily clutched by Strain. And Thornton striving for this equaliser. And Ireland earns a free kick just outside the corner, eating yard line. And it's Hitman Thompson tries a bender. Parried away by Strain. Nobody at the back post for Hibbs. And his buffs on the break again. Is Monty offside? Nisbet crosses. On Linton fumbles. And Monty has an easy tap into the goal for the buffs. Fourth goal. And it's 4 2 to Cowering. And the cross by Nisbet appears to be harmless. But keeper Linton lets the ball slip away and squirm through his hands. And only Monty is going to stick it in the net. And poor Thornton with all the pressure they've had and missed chances. The Conning's quick breaks have been paying off dividends. And Ireland clobbers in this bit. Free kick, covering. Gorman to take. And Linda fumbles, but holds at second attempt. And the game becoming a wee bit scrappy. And a fortunate knock on by the referee to Lewis. A pass cut out by Miller. But somehow Nesbitt has a shot. Another good stop by Linton. It's a Thornton free kick, aimed at Miller, foul on Maitland. And the middle of the park is looking badly cut up. A foul on Fleming, taken quickly. Throw by Smith, balls up in the air. Another run by Nisbet to Boylan, just outside. Goal number five for Cowinning. Boylan. And surely this game is beyond retrieval for Thornton. And the Thornton defence protesting Boylan was offside. But Boylan is never toiling when he sniffs a goal. 5 2 Cowinning. The Thornton Hibs have been pressing the back four of Cowinning. But the snappy breaks by Buffs and the clinical finishing has surely taken going into the next round. Hepburn to Adam. The poor cross easily mopped up by Strain. And the Hibs are looking for this consolation goal, striving forward. Cross to Robertson, screams a sitter over the bar. And 
Thornton's pressing, leaving gaps at the back. Coming break. And keeper Linton misfires. Boylan to Cara. Oh, and a lovely goal by Cara. Nice combination by Boylan and Cara. Goal number six. And it's 6 2 to Cowering. And surely they're through to the next round of the Scottish Cup. And here you see the goalkeeper caught right out of his box. Boylan's quick thinking to Cara, who easily slots the ball into an empty net. And Thornton have had a couple of chances in the game but failed to convert. And Coleman looks to be fouled. In goes Boylan. He fouls Crichton. Oh, there's a lovely chip into a crowded goal mouth. Punched by Strain. Was it on the line? Time running out for Thornton Hibbs, looking desperately for a consolation, but there it goes. Full time in this remarkable Scottish Cup tie, with eight goals, six by buffs, with Pettigrew and Nisbet for two, Monty and Curra, Thomas and Adam for Thornton. So I'm here with Chris Strain, so Chris, how do you think today's game went today then? Um, yeah, it was a tough start for us, we fell behind and... Um we came back into the game well, scored some really good goals um, and I was pleased with the boys. Um, I think some of the goals, the quality of the goals was, was excellent and um, it's just pleasing. Any cup tie you take any result but it was pretty emphatic in the end and I'm, I'm pleased with that. Do you think the boys felt the pressure when they took the first lead? The team, yeah, yeah uh, definitely. We haven't played well in the last couple of weeks. We were a wee bit unsure. There was a wee tweak to our system today um, and it, the boys might not be overly sure of that. But once they, they got a footing in the game and once they got their confidence in the system and the shape, then um, we, we were excellent and I was really, really pleased with it. Um, we conceded a, a second goal just after we scored the third goal and, and that you know keeps the game in the, in the boiling pot. Um, but to be honest, we, we ran away with it in the end and, and I was well pleased with how we, we played. Well, that's the game over here at the Abbey Park and uh, what a horrible day it was to begin with. It just lashed down. In fact, I thought the game was going to be cancelled at one point, but um, it did they calm down and the rain disappeared. One of those intriguing games, really interesting games, especially the first half. I think everything happened. It's a, junior football never surprises me, that's why we love the game. And within five minutes, Thornton had struck, they were at 1 0. And you wouldn't believe what happened next. One of the most unusual things I've ever seen in a football match that the game was held up for 15 minutes when the referee clashed with the, one of the Thornton Hibs players. It was an accidental clash and both lay in the ground absolutely poleaxed as if they'd been punched out by Mike Tyson and it took the, the officials about 15-20 minutes to get the game back up again. I actually thought it was going to be abandoned at one point. But the game eventually kicked off again and Buffs pulled one back by Pettigrew. Then Nisbet they scored two more uh, to make it 3-1. But Thornton they, they pulled one back just before half time made it 3-2. Second half to me it was all Buffs. Buffs came out there basically saying, right, we need to take this game in hand, and basically they did that. They scored another three goals in the second half, took control, all the goals by Monty, Boylan and Curra. It was a bad mistake by the goalkeeper at the very end, didn't they? Curra just nicked it in there. It was a lovely wee flick into the back of the net. Anyway, it's Eddie Gemmel and the Fibber Shorts crew, and a big thank you to, to George Swart for coming along and doing his wee bit of punter. Thank you very much, George. And we hope to see you the next time.